Hello students, Victor here once again to bring you the final video for this simulation. So at this point, we have completed round four, which included all of the new tasks that we were going to need to complete for the simulation. So from here forward, we will essentially just be optimizing the price, promotions, ad spend, and distribution across the different channels. So let's jump right into it and look at what to do in round five. So I highly suggest that uh, after each of the rounds, you have a look at your results and you see here uh, what they are, the feedback is from Stukin because this will point you in the right direction on what you need to adjust. And as I mentioned in the last video, once you hit green on these uh, different tallies, you know, you don't really need to adjust those areas anymore. You can just uh, input the same inputs and then, you know, it will stay optimized uh, for your simulation. So if you've already got green on some of these, you can uh, make a similar decision to the last one in that area. So the first thing to do will be to uh, review the results and see the feedback there, and then adjust based on the, their feedback there. Uh, in addition, always watch you know the different memos and read this information as well. Um, but at a high level here, let's jump over to pricing We'll see here what our previous price was. And then once again, we can always go to the results and check the feedback there to see if it gives us information on whether we need to raise our price or lower our price. From there, you can optimize uh, your price point for your bag. In addition to that, you will also go through the causes once again. And uh, you know this is where that A-B testing strategy really comes into play. Uh, you can adjust these promos based on that feedback um, and your research that you have actually purchased in round one. In addition, you will simply uh, update your ad spending here. Now, a lot of students have been asking me about why they might have gotten yellow on this ad spend and how to get it to green. Um, one thing that I'll just mention here is that the if you get yellow on, on ad spend feedback, it is actually, you know, you're doing pretty well in the ad spending area. You can experiment with new um, advertising avenues but once again you may not need to make large changes to this area and finally we will adjust our distributors based on that feedback that we see here in the results tab so in my results tab um, it says I've done a good job in some areas but I still have room for improvement let's make sure that we have the proper distributor profile selected and once again, a good way to gauge that is based on the customer segments and their customer profile and matching that to the demographics that we have right here under the research tab. And then once you are uh, happy with your selections across these, you simply run this simulation. And if you see, the, if you see this page, make sure you go back and finish uh, the different tabs that are there. Uh, but other than that, that is what the final simulation will look like. And from here on, we're just going to be basically giving you a chance to optimize everything. So if you made you know lower grades in some of the other rounds, this will really be a chance for you to uh, make up for those areas. In addition to that, there is always that extra credit quiz that we had um, right before Stuka started, which will give you points as well. I will be hosting office hours extended this week. Um, so I'll have an office hour session on Tuesday from six to seven for students that can make the regular office hours, Thursdays two to four. Uh, and I may also run some hours on Wednesday depending on the need. So again, if you have questions, always make sure to email me at victor.uh.mark at gmail.com.